time to drop some college knowledge on XL Primetime. Brought to you by Modelo, the official beer of the college football playoff. Now, we had to soar through this uh, like we do weekly, and a cold Modelo may have been in order uh, as I cracked the cap. Got rid of that beautiful gold seal and started to look at everything. Uh, we know we love our modellos here on XL Primetime. That's for sure. Now I hate to say this because this kind of it's a bit of a of a downer to start. <coughs> Nine weeks complete in the college football schedule, mm. so we have got to, we are getting closer to the XLP to the CFP. Nine weeks gone, heading into the first Saturday of November. We got some teams that are fighting like heck to get in there. We'll mention some of the Oles, the ones that are on the outside looking mm. in. I like when you lead off, Leon. Yeah. We're going to go 12 We're going to go 12 here. to 9. All right, all right. Number 12, um, they're going to be replaced by Iowa State. Okay. But they're going to be replaced by Boise State. Boise State, gently. What do you have? 139 yards against UNLV? Yeah, Ashton Gentry went off. He uh, went off a little was, bit. That was a low number for him. Are you him. telling me you have a group of five team ranked ahead of Iowa State? Is I that do. what you're telling me? That's what Good I mean. for you, bro. That's He's right. crazy. Good, Good for I you. Am. I like that. Yes, absolutely. So I got Boise State at 12 and at 11. I love this team. They beat Washington last week. Indiana. Indiana at number 11. Mm-hmm. My number 10 team, as hesitant as I was to put them there, but they had a – Navy had six turnovers in that game, bro. Six turnovers. Terrible. I know. It was terrible. I know. Had absolutely no shot we in that were, game. But I, got, I told y'all. No yeah, I know. I, felt, I, I, I drank the Kool-Aid. I thought Navy was going to give them a tussle. But, God but then when I, bless America. <laughs> hey, listen, when I saw that offensive line against that defensive line against Navy, I said, the they're in trouble. Yeah, they're in big trouble. They're man. in trouble. So at number 10, I got Notre Dame. And at number 9, I got uh, Clemson Tigers. Okay. All right, let's, let's okay. start out with number 12. Um, let me Before I get into number 12, let me say this. If you think Florida State was all up in arms about not getting in the playoff last year, where do you see what happens if Army goes 12-0, and then wins the Navy game, okay? America's game. And then beats them again, so they'll be 13-0. and By the way, let me at least jump in. Florida State had a hell of a lot better argument than maybe Army. Will wait, have. but wait. Hang on a second, okay? okay? Army's... Right now, strength of schedule, the, 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 the combined one-loss record of the teams they've played so far right now. You want to have a guess at it? I'm going to say 13 and 45. Close. I'm just, I'm just 18 and 35. So close. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. But here's what I'm talking about. Like, if you get a service academy that's unbeaten, I mean, there's going to be some pull, baby. There's going to be some God bless America heartstrings pull to get them in that playoff. So, you, so you're saying presidential? <laughs> I'm not saying pre- oh. well. Depending on who gets selected, if one of the guys gets selected, and by saying guy, you know who I'm talking about, he might just come out and say it's on America if they don't get selected. <laughs> but the, um, uh, but the, the Florida State last year, they went from undefeated to 1-7 and seven this year. It just was a hell of a thing that they had to endure post-Jordan Travis. Right. So, but my point is it's, it's, it's going to be very hard, I think, to ignore the fact that they're unbeaten and Boise State has one loss. It's a great Boise, story. Boise State's a much better team. Yeah. There's any question about that. Yeah. Okay? But if that's I'm just throwing that out there. It's a just great to keep story. that in your back pocket. Yeah. Because the more they win, there's going to be more of a groundswell among mm-hmm. people to say, Army, it's a great story. It's mm-hmm. America. It's yeah, yeah. Anyway, Boise State. All, all that to tell you, I've got Boise State <laughs> at 12. <laughs> I got the Hoosiers at 11. They're in. Dangerous spot for them, by the way, this week at East Lansing against Michigan State. Michigan State plays well at home, and and I think Aiden Charles is starting to figure it out, their quarterback. He's going to be really good, by the way. Um, I got Notre Dame at 10, mm-hmm. and I know there really shouldn't be any reason that they're ahead of Texas A&M in, at 9, but I just think they're playing better. That, Texas A&M is playing better than them okay. right now. And, uh, and Texas A&M is a different team now with Marcel Reed, a quarterback. There's no doubt about it. And we did argue this last week, and I like the fact that you know you, you, your eyes tell you something. We can say head to head should matter more than anything else, but the body of work it, it still matters. So oh, it will. Like if it, if it yeah. comes down to the final poll and it's Notre Dame, we ranked ahead of Texas right. A&M. They both still have one loss. There's no yeah, doubt they yeah. will. one loss. But they'll look at strength of schedule. It all it all matters. All right, my Oli's real quick uh, before I get my t- uh, twelve down to nine. The outside looking in, LSU falls out. They're gone right now because they couldn't gain a dang yard uh, basically on the ground. They had basically twenty five yards rushing in that game. Indiana impressive. But I'm still keeping them out for the here and now. Notre Dame still working. Pittsburgh, 7-0, and still on the outside looking in. Big game against S- uh, uh, SMU, so we'll find out. Uh, Alabama, 
They did their work this past week, but still on the outside looking in. Uh, so here's what I've got. The elimination game Friday night is how I qualified it. Mm-hmm. Boise State beat UNLV. And so they get, even though Ashton Genty only had 128 yards, they still. Only. Yeah, only. Only. It's like a top 10 rush defense. It was sick what he was doing uh, up until that point. And, and that was a, a good 128 yards. Fourth quarter touchdown. Uh, put him up for good. And so they're still in that 12 spot. Notre Dame in with that easy victory over Navy. Uh, strength of schedule hurting him just a tick. I've got him 11th. BYU. Hmm. Underdogs at UCF yet still unbeaten. Uh, Malzahn, uh, it's it, things just not good right shaky now. Shaky right now. They've lost yeah. five in a row. Yeah, and it was and, they, and their schedule's not easy the rest of the way. It was thirty-seven twenty-four. It wasn't even that close. Uh, so I've got BYU tenth. I've got ninth Tennessee, and we know that they got their big ball game coming up. All right, All right. eight to five. Number eight, I got uh, second best team in the SEC. That's the Texas A&M mm-hmm. Aggies. Impressive win against LSU. At number seven, man, I was rooting for Vanderbilt to beat them. I, I really was. <laughs> You're not the only Diego. one. Diego. I got Texas at number seven. I got Texas at number seven. We're not letting go of Diego. No, we got, we got to hold on to him for a little nope, bit longer. Nope, nope. It'd be nice if Vandy makes They're going to make a bowl. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. At number six, I got Ohio State. And at number five, big game, Penn State. It's going to be a big game, bro. Better believe it. Huge, huge game. Penn State, I, I, Ohio State. I, I want to give an addendum real quick. If te- Texas A&M finishes with one loss, they won the SEC, so they're going to be ahead yeah, of Notre so Dame. So they will be, honestly, strength of <laughs> schedule right. will have a big, right. big play in that. Right. I mean, they the only way they have one loss is they went out mm-hmm. and then beat Georgia. So that, they'll be, I mean, they'll probably be the one seed, actually. The one mm-hmm. or the two seed. So, yeah, I need, need to throw a little addendum in there. All right. Number eight, I've got Tennessee. Um, they got to get Nico better in the past game. You got Kentucky and Mississippi State back to back at home. Get ready for it. Get him more confidence. Then you go on the road to Athens and see what you can do with Georgia. Um, seven is Penn State. I'm still not a Penn State believer. Mm-hmm. I just, they just, it just doesn't look good. Well, the injury to the quarterback could be a concern. He may play. Yeah, Drew Allar still may play. But they were able to get the backup in. Both and Bill did a nice job. Yeah. No doubt about it. Um, I got Texas at six. They're off this week, so you get a chance for Quinn Ewers to kind of rest that core injury. You know now about a core injury because you mm-hmm. currently have one. I don't know what I'm dealing with. you got something. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you it's a core injury. Uh, number five, I got Ohio State. Mm-hmm. All right, and we're going to we're gonna find a lot of, a lot about the $41 million program. Mm-hmm. $41 million, by the way. That's a lot of money they spent. I wrote about that today in USA Today. It's going to go tomorrow. They spent $20 million on the players. Okay. 20 on the players. 20 on the players, right? 10 on the head coach. 11.43 on the assistant coach. Including Chip, Chipper, Chip Kelly. $41 million. And if they lose at Penn State this weekend, yeah. they might be out. Oh, boy. they they mm. That will be real for Ryan Day. That's for sure. All right, so my 8 to 5. I'm putting the fighting, fighting Elkos in in that eighth spot, and mm-hmm. I'll defend it to the hilt right now just based on the way they are playing. Uh, they may be facing a crash course uh, against the Longhorns coming up, and I will set up a scenario where you may see A&M playing Texas multiple times down the stretch. This is a pair of teams that haven't played each other in a while uh, after the Aggies left the Big 12. Texas is seventh. I still have them ahead of A&M, uh, but my goodness, uh, both of them uh, got to prove which one is the king of the Lone Star State. I've got Ohio State still as a one-loss team behind Penn State, so I don't mind putting the Buckeyes sixth. Penn State fifth. They took care of business at Wisconsin with their quarterback going down, Mm -hmm. and obviously this is the referendum Saturday between those two as to decide which one of those takes the driver's seat to face Oregon uh, in the championship game. All right, four to one. All right, four to one. Number four, I got uh, BYU, big win in the bounce house. Number three, I got Miami. Finally stopped the streak with Florida State. Big win for the Hurricanes. Number two, I got Oregon. And number one, I got Cha-Cha. Okay. You're keeping them up top. Just keeping them up top. Okay. All right. Four to one, Matty. So, I mean, I got BYU at four. And, I mean, I mean, I guess they could lose at Arizona State. Maybe. They're not going to lose at Utah. They got two weeks to prepare for Utah in the Holy War, which is a huge game. Mm-hmm. But this might be the worst Utah team in two decades. Injuries definitely have hit them. They've just decimated them. You've got they're, they're going to finish with at Utah, Kansas at home. Kansas is clearly not the same Kansas team of a couple of years past. 
ASU might be the one game. They might lose at ASU. Uh, the, the, They've got a chance, okay? They're a tricky team to figure they are. out. They are. And then they got Houston on to finish it. So they could easily go 12-0 and 0 is my point. Um, ASU looks like the only potential hurdle for them. The Canes, we've gone through that schedule. It's Duke, it's at Georgia Tech, and then I, I don't even know who the other one is, and it's, it's at Syracuse. Who's your game before at Syracuse? Which one of those well, pancakes you are you? Uh, yeah, you Wake Forest. Wake, Wake Forest. Forest. Yeah. Thank you. So basically, if you're not twelve and zero at the end, of, if you're not twelve and zero at the end of November, bro, just don't even come to work. Seriously, if something happens, you guys lose at Syracuse. He's talking trash. Don't even He's come to work. Talking trash, man. Because we will never let you live that down. If never. You, if you can't, well, it's not going to happen. Yeah. If you can't run the table on Duke, Georgia Tech, <laughs> Wake Forest, and Syracuse. Did you see what happened to Syracuse against Pitt? We will never let you down, bro. Holy cow. Hey, listen. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. It is. Exactly. It is. All right. Number All right. two. I got number two, uh, Oregon, with a testy little game this week at Michigan. Mm-hmm. Michigan can run the ball and dictate a little tempo. They got a chance to get to the fourth quarter. Then you never know. Who knows, right? And then number one, of course, the uh, Death Star. Clear, far and away, number one. Well, I'm holding back on that one just to have some fun with it. My 4-1, to one, Iowa State. Who's got it better than us, Jimmy? Mm. Uh, the Cyclones do right now because they're still in control of their own destiny, unbeaten, uh, and the Cyclones looking pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the Canes, after three consecutive one-possession games, they did blow out Florida State, did exactly what you expected them to do, and don't penalize them for that. 22-point win when they were favored by 21. You got to love that. We mentioned the remaining schedule that they've got, so we'll find out what happens with them. Uh, I'm just going to put Georgia in that second spot for now uh, as a one loss team, uh, and then Oregon in the top spot. They won by an a- the three games before this past week by an average of 26 points. And everyone was talking about, hey, look out. They were a 21 and a half point favorite against yeah. Illinois. They ended up smoking them 38 to 9. Dylan Gabriel, Heisman worthy kind of guy uh, right now. So I don't have any problem keeping them. At the top of our college football. XLP to the CFP. Those are our top 12 teams. Hey guys, Taylor Dahl here. Thanks so much for watching 1010XL. If you're looking for even more great content, head over to our 1010XL Jaguars page or one of our college football pages.